This episode is sponsored by the Amsterdam Public Library, the Sector Institute for Public Libraries, and our loyal viewers around the world who sponsored us through thick and thin. Episode 84 of This Week in Libraries. We are back at the wonderful studio of the OBA, Amsterdam Public Library, an amazing library. Uh, whenever you're in the Netherlands, traveling, uh, it's just beside the railway station. Be sure to drop by and have a look because it's really an amazing place to be. Last week, we had David Weinberger, the great David Weinberger, uh, in our show. Um, he's going to be speaking at uh, Internet Librarian, where we will be too, in, in less than three weeks, I think. Um, yeah, the bottom man knows so much about marketing, about libraries, about in the Internet, the trends, what is happening, what's going to happen in the future, maybe. Um, it's definitely worthwhile to, to check back and then, uh, watch the episode if you haven't yet. This week, we are very proud to have a Dutch librarian in the show. Um, that, that has been some time ago, I think. Karin Horst. Um, so happy to have you here. Yes, nice to be here. Well, in and, the and, not, and for no reason, because you emailed me uh, quite a while ago, I think, maybe a year ago or something, and, and you said you were working on a great new project, and you were curious to know if there were other libraries in the world Yes. who are uh, doing the same or thinking of doing the same and, and the same is that you are working together with local writers publishing their work, their books and bringing them to the libraries. And not not, not per se publishing but selling also. Selling book. their books. And that's uh, uh, quite new I think. I didn't discover a library in, in Holland that uh, it's did the that. same S but maybe Somewhere in the world. Somewhere out there. I mean, there are people I'd watching. I'd love to know if you're selling your own libraries, uh, your own li uh, uh, writers, and the own writers is the li writers in your community or your well, we, city. Well, we, we go back to that. We put your email yes. address right yes. underneath here. So people out there, if you know any library or you're doing this yourself, please let Karen know what you're doing because it, it's great eh, to have this community, this global community, but let's, let's use it. Uh, but Khan, before we go to the, this, this remarkable thing that you're doing, uh, tell us a little about yourself. I, I, I wrote, read somewhere on the internet, you're coming from Arnhem, but you did your library school in Groningen. So yes. Obviously you moved to Groningen. Yes. Uh, why library school and, and, and why Groningen? Because my uh, family lived there, uh, the, uh, my grandparents. So, uh, and it's a nice uh, city for students. Uh. Nothing like Very Groningen, nice. they say. But mm -hmm. why library school? Because I love to read. And I discovered uh, I didn't know what to do. And then uh, I think my mother or my father, we have a really library family, you know. It I runs have in aunts, the family. I had, my mother was in the library, my father. Now my brother even is in the library business. So. What you talk about at, at birthday parties is libraries. Now we do, yes. <laughs> yes. No, but then it wasn't. No, 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 no. But your mother worked in a library, I read that. She was yes. not, a, not the front office, no, but she no, was the oh, reading, uh, administration. Administration no. work. Yes, yes. And then you started to work in the library yourself? Yes. Shelving? Yes. And, uh, yeah, I, I started from the bottom. Yes, the yes. bottom up. Yeah. Yes, yes. But I, uh, I very soon I, did, I thought from I want to learn more. So then I. Uh, got an uh, education about public relations, so mm -hmm. I did a lot of public relations for the library in Amersfoort, where I now work. It's now called, it's in Amersfoort, but we have uh, a few, a uh, couple of, um, um, well, how do you call it, gemeentes? Yeah, well, the city councils yeah, among, uh, around not Amersfoort. Not only Amersfoort, yeah. but uh, it's five, like a, yeah. five satellite uh, uh, towns yes, around yes, Amersfoort, yes. 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 And uh, a couple of years ago, we had to we, we, they, they came into this uh, 
we became working together, and they said to me, "Van well, you have to choose Karin because I did it all, yeah, I did yeah, all yeah. kind of things together." <laughs> and I said, "Well, that can't be um, anymore. So you have to choose beca- between PR and uh, or uh, culture because I did a lot with uh, cultural ev- 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 events. Yeah, events." And I said, "Well, I would love to go back to culture." Yes. So and fortunately, I was they allowed said, yes. to. Yes. Okay. But a little on bibliotheque, uh, bibliotheken Aimland, libraries of uh, Aimland. Uh, we will put it underneath. Uh, what are we thinking now for the people watching who don't know where even Amersfoort is? Is it it's how many people in the area? Do you have any idea how many members of the libraries well, together? Well, it's or about two hundred uh, uh, thousand. thousand. I think. Yes. So the members would be a little more. I think two to two fifty thousand. It's uh, forty thousand members. And we maybe? have uh, yes, something about that. And we have uh, uh, working in the library about one hundred and ten people, I think. But also okay. very small uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, jobs. Mm-hmm. Not many. Like, like not the FTEs, the yes. full time, no, 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 but no, no, mostly no, no. part time people. I wouldn't people. know the FTEs. No, 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 no. It's not so important. But, uh, so there's five different libraries, yes. uh, what, what is special, what, what do you think, if you have to tell the viewers, what, what, is, what, what makes Bibliotheque and Aimland special, besides your product? Besides my product. Besides your product, what makes Bibliotheque and Aimland uh, a place to visit? Well, we, uh, we do a, yeah, well, it's, I, I don't know if we are more special than a, a mm-hmm. lot of other uh, libraries, because I think, the most important thing is working with children. Uh, that's very important because they have to uh, learn to love reading. Yes. So I think that's where it all starts. And uh, Amersfoort is, has, uh, of Eemland has chosen for the um, the readers and uh, the the people who are not uh, so good in reading. And that's our focus nowadays. Mm-hmm. And uh, besides that. We do a lot of other things, of course, also for uh, adults. And uh, now, we, we now, of course, also have uh, to cope with a lot of uh, budget cuts yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and uh, closure of uh, libraries. But uh, fortunately, we are opening libraries in schools and in um, homes for elderly people. So we try to to get in the very close uh, yes. libraries. We, got, we are opening small places where people can... Living room like uh, yes. sort of libraries. Uh, small idea. collections, but without uh, a librarian, unfortunately. unfortunately. What do you think of that? Because I'm always, something makes me a little edgy when I, when yes. I hear that. Yes, yes, uh, me too. Because it's although, but it's better than nothing. Yes. That's 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 the only thing I can say about it. The most it. positive thing is that it's better than nothing. Yeah, and a lot is uh, and a lot is possible in uh, in the feed, uh, through the internet. You uh, you can uh, order books, and uh, a lot of people do that, even though they have a library in the neighborhood. Yeah. So that's that's no problem. But it's very especially when you work with schools and uh, have, want children to lend books mm-hmm. in the library. That's well. In su- such a small, uh, well, how do you call it in English? The, the, the living room libraries, yes. it's, it's not possible anymore. So that's a shame, I think. So what do you think of the role? What we, we have this discussion a lot, like, like uh, the, the, the library is a sort of... And I think you're still, you're still having that in, in, in Aimland. Uh, the library is a public domain place where people, uh, you need the physical building, you need that library, and you yes. need that place. And we are building a new uh, library. So in 2014, we have a beautiful new library. And there are big plans about that new library. Yes, 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 yes. And I've got big, big plans also with my authors. Yes, well, let's go to that. Yes. You're right, because that's what we're here to talk about. Um, uh, you got involved in, in, in uh, you've always been involved, I think, in, in, in authors and in writing, besides yes. reading, in writing. Um, I read somewhere that in, I think you started in 2008 with collecting uh, Right, yes. Local writers yes. in Amersfoort. We did were you do give it through the library or not? Yes. Yes. It's, it's, we were uh, organizing small uh, courses in writing, so I thought, and uh, I organized also for uh, people an, an evening with a printing on demand mm-hmm. uh, publisher. 
And there were a lot of people interested in that. And a lot? What, what is a lot? Well, a lot. There were, there were about there 20, 25. Yeah. But from those 25 people, I think 10 books came out. That is not That's bad. Pers <laughs> no, it's very, That's very 50%, much. Percent, so I, I thought, well, this is, uh, this is uh, something big. So, and I thought, uh, why? And that's a very, very important thing Why? I want, I want yes. to tell people Why? in libraries. We, we let books, but we do not know our authors. And that's very strange, because what are we without the storytellers, mm -hmm. yeah. without the authors? We are nothing. We are lending their work, and we are uh, telling people, children, that it's important that they read. But we should know our authors, and if every every library should do that, we have a lot of uh, mm -hmm. potential uh, working together. Definitely. And I I discovered that I think uh, more than bookstores and more than publishers, author and libraries have the same uh, purpose. Uh, they, they, we all want people to read. To share stories. Yeah. Yes, we want to share stories. And uh, the authors want to share their story, of course, and we are, as a library, that's not very important which story, because it's important to read and to learn. But it's also nice to know, as a local community, which authors you have, and you can connect the readers and the authors together. And, and uh, okay, so you had, we go back to this group, this group of like, like yes. 20, 30 people uh, writing. Ten books. Yes, I. And, and uh, you thought, okay, this is a great success. And what was the next step? No, I and, and then I, I wrote a plan for my uh, management. <laughs> I said I want to start a collection of England's authors. Yes. And uh, uh, there were uh, two criteria, or three later. Of uh, the main criteria is that you have to be born there. Okay, and Bourne is the, the community of the five libraries yes, within the five in libraries, yes. Communities and uh, or grown up, so you feel uh, Amersfoort, you know, you, you feel uh, uh, Amsterdam it's in your or blood. A You're Amersfoort New or Yorker blah, blah. Yeah. or what, and or you have to live there. Okay, if you are born there, you always stay in this collection. If you live there, you get removed when you <laughs> move uh, to another... Uh, Do you have to be a member of the library or not? That's no. not a criteria. No, okay. no, no, no. And the uh, other thing is, and my colleagues were very... Uh, uh, how do you call it? They said, oh no, can you do that? There's no criteria about... Um, quality. Quality, no. The only thing is I have to lend... It's, it's got to be possible to Do lend you read it. every book that's written on No, that. I cannot. <laughs> I try, I, I know every uh, author, mm -hmm. and I um, I try to know a little bit about their books, but I cannot read everything. everything. And not everything is very good, of course. No. But why did you make that choice? Why did you make the choice? Well, I, I know I can imagine a reason, because it's very difficult. Who is going to determine what is good and what is not? But, but You um, are also going then, to miss a lot if you don't. Uh, because uh, you have this discussion with my colleagues and say, no, this is good enough, you have to have that, but no, no, you can't have that because it's not good enough. No, this discussion is not done, it, uh, the, the collection is not integrated in the other collection, so it's very clear, this is our Amnon collection yes. of authors. And I must say, uh, sometimes there are uh, books that are not so good, but the majority is not too bad. So I think about 80% is, is quite it's good. It's quite reasonable. And they are and all, not all writers, still coming. Not all professional writers write no. really good books, I have to say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, on the other hand, th th there was no book that, that, that had like... Um, but sometimes the, the language can be very bad, or it can be pornographic, or it can be whatever. Well, Again, we've, we've insulting to religions. It's it's quite a yes. We have little, a little in line in, in our our plan, or that if it's very discrimin discriminative, yeah, discriminating or, uh, or, or something else. Yeah. 
the uh, management is uh, going to decide if it's not but removed or not. Yes, but not not a, not an issue. Not an issue yet. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. Well, that that goes to show. I mean, uh, people would, would that would be one of the things that people would say. Can we do this? Maybe there will be people who. Yeah, so so there you say. It doesn't have to be that way. I mean, yeah. people. And a lot of us is printing on demand, of course, but. Uh, tell, us about the, yeah. tell us about the printing on demand thing, because, because I think at one stage you, did, you brought these people together, yes. the POD group, the yes. PAD group. Yes, 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 yes. Because it's, it's, it's difficult to get published. Yes. We all know that and it's, it's getting more difficult because the publisher uh, are not doing very well. Right, and I can, uh, I, I can imagine. It. I al always say to them, it's the best if you can get published yeah. by, by a publisher. Yes. That's without a question. But if you can't, yeah, there are a lot of other ways to publish, get, get your, your book published. published yeah. And uh, I guide them if they want it. I can ask, uh, answer some questions or I uh, get some people there who can answer. And in, in between, you can, they tell each other from, oh, you have to go there or you have to go there. And uh, well, it's, it's all kinds of books that are published. Most of them are um, informa in information, information books, books. Yeah. and then uh, the, the, the less is uh, less ones is uh, I did novels. Yes, that's there are not so many novels. No, more no, informative no. books of people who write. A about lot of children writers okay. here in our uh, cities. In Amersfoort. In Amersfoort, very very many, but uh, and they. Oh, that's also, I, I, I said, I am collecting uh, this, uh, I'm making this collection and then discovered because I, we have a children's uh, mm -hmm. writer, Betty Schleuser, and she, she wrote more than 100 books. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes. So, and uh, I had this, I always uh, name this, uh, this author, I don't think I have seen him in a long time, but he wrote a very small book about all kinds of things you can do with a... Uh, uh, how do you call it? Paperclip. Yes. It's very funny. <laughs> but if you uh, if you can... Uh, this is going to be a bestseller, ah, I'm yes. sure. I mean. <laughs> it's sold out. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but if you can imagine, it's such a small book and hundred books. So I yeah. said, I can only get one book of uh, every author. Okay. So that's uh, that's also. But and then we get you. You already uh, you, you got to get it by now. You started with twenty maybe. Now you have two hundred and twenty authors. Two hundred thirty almost authors, local authors, yeah. and you started selling them yes. in the library. Yes. And and how did that go? And did not the booksellers start to scream at that stage? Like what are you doing, library? To me, it was a very nor uh, logical thing step because I work a lot of years together with all those authors and uh, sometimes we, we, are, we were selling one book but I said why are we just lending and why are we not selling them because mm -hmm. authors are in, it's very difficult to, to get your money back not that we are selling that much but, but we have to help them yes so I said I want to sell <laughs> books and said to my, uh, my uh, director, director yeah. And fortunately, I have got a director and then said, wow, are you crazy, Karin? <laughs> no, he said, okay, we are going to... Uh, Give it a try. Yeah, no, we had to... So we, uh, uh, we informed uh, in the Netherlands uh, mm -hmm. how, how would they think about it uh, in the Eurydice? Yeah. How do you call it? Yeah. Yes. Is it allowed? <laughs> And uh, we also had to inform uh, the, about the taxes, and we don't want. To, we are not a shop, but we are. It's so small. They said it's very possible the the, the taxes done, yeah. are, are not uh, going to do. Uh, think uh, difficult. It's not a difficulty. So, and then uh, he said to me, Karen, you have to uh, go to the bookstores and talk to them because. Yes. Uh, yeah, they are important too, of course. So I uh, I called uh, the bookstores and I went there. I know them, of course. And I said, well, I want to talk to you. And all bookstores were very happy. That and we are why going were they to happy? Because they are, uh, um, they, a lot of people are 
publishing books more and more. And they all go to the bookstores because they want to get sold. Mm -hmm. And the, the bookstores don't have uh, that much space in their store. And uh, also they, it's a lot of administration for them. So they said, oh, God, that's nice that you, are, that you are doing that, Karin. We're all going to send them to you. We're all going to go to you. <laughs> yes. it's because you're selling them in consignment. I, we yes. have to get job yes. because we're running out of time. But you're selling them in consignment, yes. so sometimes you also have to really get to uh, publish on demand, print the book, pay for it, bring it to you. Yes, um, a lot of printing on demand uh, publishers are connecting with me and saying, yes. can we talk to you? Not yet, not yet. <laughs> not yet, not yet. <laughs> well, well, I think um, uh, because we, we want to also have a look at that, uh, the, 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 e the e factor in this, and, uh, and, and, and Jaap always has great serious questions. So let's get Jaap in before the show, yes. because the show runs away with us. It happens all the time. Yes, please. please, I, will, please. I, will, I will take <laughs> my mic out to give Jaap. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Hi. Karin. Nice Hello. to have you on the show. Yes. I think uh, it's a brave and bold project you're doing. Uh, I do have uh, like a, um, a difficult question. Okay. Uh, because I think you started this project in 2008. Yes. And you have 230 authors now, so it seems like a huge uh, success. Yes. So why is it uh, that not all libraries in the Netherlands have adopted this idea yet and are selling books? Well, uh, but selling is, 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 is only just started. Huh? I just started in the okay. beginning yeah. of yeah. September, right. so yep. that's... Uh, I hope that they are doing, I know some are thinking about it, and mm -hmm. I talked to uh, ProBiblia, who is a service organization North in North and South, and South, South Holland, yeah. and I talked also to uh, Biblio Service in uh, Gelderland, Gelderland, the Midland, yeah. Yeah. and they, uh, I don't know if they're all going to sell, but they are interested in working with uh, uh, writers and, and uh, supporting them in all kinds of different ways. Mm -hmm. So there are, and in uh, Utrecht, uh, which is our province, is uh, I know some uh, one other library is also going to sell. Okay. Yes. So they have like so followers. Yes. So that library is already collecting uh, authors, yes. Yes. and that's al already also uh, a success. That one. Yes. Yeah? Yes. I, I cannot tell you how much it's 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 worth with uh, working with uh, writers because, for instance, I, I did a lot of things together already with writers mm -hmm. because uh, I have, for instance, uh, a, a writer who is uh, who wrote a book about uh, good luck with your book. So mm -hmm. that's a nice book. So we had a, <laughs> a, a we had a. A week, a week about writing, and I said, "Can you?" Uh, and he said, "I want to work with you." And I said, "Okay." And he works with me free mm -hmm. for and, uh, and for 15 minutes. People were going to talk with him, uh, and uh, and he said, "No, you have to do that." And we had a lot of uh, publicity also, mm -hmm. and uh, he he advised in the local newspaper. It's also very a lot of journalists. He's telling this. He's journalists very are yeah. writers. I never, I never had such a good connection with this the journalist. journalist as with this project. As now. So Six the library years. gets in the picture of the journalist. Yes, they are all, oh, nice, nice. It's and do you have a framework for, for this whole uh, project? Um, I can imagine a library in Australia watching now and they are thinking, well, it seems like a great project, but it yes, also yes. Seems, seems time consuming. Yes. Well, for instance, the, the shop, we try to do it with less as, uh, power, as power as possible. So, uh, what's um, the so disadvantage is of it that I can't tell you how much we are, we've sold yet because mm -hmm. we said, no, we only do that half year. Okay. Every half year we mm -hmm. are counting all the books and everything that's sold, uh, they can... Uh, sent us, us a, a bill about it. And is there a certain target, like you have to sell no. like a hundred books? No, we don't have a target like that, but we have, uh, of, of course, we have to evaluate uh, the thing. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if we don't sell, but we do sell. Mm -hmm. I know we do sell because... Uh, I saw it with my own, own eyes because I was in your library like a week ago. Okay. And I saw the nice little, like the flight cases. Yes. They are quite excellent. Yes. 
like I think you can bring the the, the store about everywhere. It's yeah, like a little pop-up shop. Yeah, but it's you can do it, but it's very heavy. So do we have photographs on this? Uh, we, we will find we will some find for, the, uh, for the show. Yeah, for the okay, show. Okay. Um, another question because Eric already mentioned the the the, the e-books. Yes. Uh, do you also sell or have authors as, as an e-book available? Not yet, but I know it's coming. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm also planning about uh, uh, courses about how to publish your e-book. Because a lot of people don't know how to do it, it's easy. Mm -hmm. But you can do a lot of things wrong with that. Mm -hmm. We know, all know uh, very, very bad e-books, of course. Uh, so I'm going to uh, organize a course, and I know if I do that, <laughs> a lot of e-books are coming uh, my way. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, Karen, can you sell well, those too? <laughs> yes. Or can you lend those too? I would love uh, to have uh, that in the, in the, uh, how do you call it, in a, uh, the program uh, of the libraries. Not because I hate all those news communities and another e-book another, another platform. Okay, you mean like in the national platform yes. or in a national platform? Yes, I hope that we can uh, can invent something that we are going to. If that is possible. That, but I think when we do that, to, you have to uh, the criterion about it's got to be worthwhile reading. Then you have to go. That, that's. It's not everything we call. No, then you need yeah. some editors to, to yes, or you editors have to like or a librarians who say that we don't and that we do. Hmm. We do. Yes. And and uh, do you think your your program can can help uh, stimulate this national platform? Because uh, so far uh, there haven't been much books, uh, many books available yet. I think. Yeah, but that was one of the advantage because I had a lot of connections with uh, the authors. Mm -hmm. So I said to, uh, I think, about 10, 12 authors who are good enough, I think, who mm -hmm. are yes. also in the library, I mm -hmm. said, do you want to go there? And uh, if they have their own rights, that's or they have a publisher who thinks, who well, says it's okay, okay. Right. Uh -huh. but most of them had a rights themselves. And they were very happy that their e-books were in the are are now in the the portal of uh, the e-book uh, e yeah. portal. Yeah, yeah. E -book portal. I don't think it's possible to sell them through no, the portal. No, yet. no, no, no. But I'm uh, uh, inclined to to search for a platform that's already there. I'm not. I'm not so. In Find finding new one. Nay, there are so many. So I mm. I think I have to search for it. A platform. Because do you think ebooks in general are, are important for a library? Do you think a library yes. can, can survive without, without ebooks? Well, we can survive, but we will be small. I'm, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. If uh, the ebooks come, they are coming. They are coming. We cannot deny that. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we are not going to uh, offer them to our members, I'm afraid one day the community or the, 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 the members, money uh, yeah. Yeah, is going to say, well, no, well, you don't have enough, so your money mm. is going to, we are going to cut your money. Do you get a lot of questions in Amersfoort from, from patrons uh, about e-books? E -books? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the lending system isn't, not, isn't very friendly. Not sophisticated uh, enough no, to. I, I would love to uh, see it easier, but it's also important that the rights of the publisher and uh, mm -hmm. and the writers are uh, yeah, protected. Are protected. Yeah. So that's that's difficult. Well, I know some uh, public libraries in America. Uh, they explain on uh, a lot about. St uh, services around e-reading on their website, and yes. but also like put a link to their publishers to tell their patrons if, if uh, something is not available and why and where they have to complain, yeah. in this case to, so, to the yeah. publisher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, maybe, I, 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 uh, I was talking about you short before it started. Mm -hmm. I think uh, when you start with local writers mm -hmm. and you start also with writing courses and try to connect with them if they want to get published, 
uh, you start from bottom up. Mm -hmm. And if the big uh, publishers are not willing to uh, to connect with the library, those will. Mm -hmm. the, the small uh, mm -hmm. publishers are not doing difficult, and the, the writers are certainly not doing difficult. Mm -hmm. Because from um, from very long, uh, it's, it's since the writer, the, the the libraries are a large income from for writers and also for publishers. That's for, uh, why I don't understand why they are not working so with us. Mm -hmm. Because normally. Uh, the um, all the books, I think, well, how, how many percent would sell for to libraries? I have, I have no I idea, don't know. actually. <laughs> but I, I imagine about 40% or something like that. Yeah, I think it's a little less. Now, but yeah. it used to mm. be more. And a lot of writers are thinking that uh, the, pub uh, the, the libraries don't pay. So, yeah, oh no, yeah, you've got our e-book and then you can lend it and lend it. So no, that's not the case. So they, it's also uh, a matter of uh, misunderstanding, I think. But I know they are trying very hard uh, to 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 uh, explain, and they don't want. Okay, if okay, we have to go to the yeah, end of the show. Yeah, one maybe final, one more question. Yeah, one final question for me. I, I, I was just curious. Uh, do you have one uh, of your authors that had a breakthrough in the Netherlands already? Maybe like the new uh, because Harry, I started it. the new Harry Mullis or no, but it's uh, it's a dream <laughs> <I have. laughs> to discover one. Yes, one day. <laughs> well, I said because I once made a plan about uh, a big library prize. Perhaps some other country will uh, do that <laughs> instead. Idea. Because yeah. I had uh, this idea and I put it in the national library, but I Platform didn't hear then. from it yet. Uh -huh. I said we should uh, get a prize. There are a lot of prizes about books, but this is different. I said the best, uh, uh, mm, how do you call it, in own uh, printing on demand, but not only mm -hmm. printing on demand, in eigen Self-published. Uh, Self-published uh, book of the country. Uh, and it's, it's uh, if you have that, you have you have, you've, you've got your yeah, talents. the potential there mm -hmm. to, yes. to, to discover And it. I know a lot of writers want to win that. Uh -huh. Independent, we call it independent authors. The, 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 yes. the independent authors. Amazon is talking to them, eh? But they are, uh, they are saying from, uh, you got, uh, we want to pay you, but only in Amazon. Uh, yes, I don't like that. Quick, quick last question, because <laughs> it just popped in my mind, because I think you are a very good uh, uh, marketer and PR person. I saw you already also did some uh, publicity for your authors on Pinterest. Yes. I think. How, yes. how is that working out? Well, uh, we, we have to, uh, we just started. So uh, my plan is to um, use Facebook mm -hmm. and Twitter uh, and perhaps other things to uh, uh, get one writer a week in the, in the uh, the picture, yeah. mm -hmm. and then you can connect to Pinterest, mm -hmm. and you say from how how much is it? Because in Pinterest you can uh, get a price on it, yes. mm -hmm. and it's easier than in our own uh, website, although it's very good, mm -hmm. but it's easier because to change. Because do, do you have these authors also in the catalog, in the regular catalog? Yes, of the yes, 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 okay. yes, yes. And do you add some extra information uh, on the authors or not? Because on I the website we have, yes. Okay, the stealing yes. question. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 I because I thought that this is a great possibility because yeah. you link, uh, you can link to the to the authors and the books in uh, from from Pinterest to the to yeah. the to the catalog. Yes. But I think because you have these authors, you can add all the information uh, yes. that you want. So it yes. would be like a great test it case. Yeah. It was my intention perfect. also that the authors themselves mm -hmm. <laughs> also would help me because Pinterest build their own catalog yes. record or. or I uh, put a story about them I on Pinterest, mm. but a lot of authors don't know Pinterest. No. <laughs> so no, but it will change if you. you yes, can be a, a will, it will come. Yeah. A lot. I know. I have one author, at least one, who's willing to help me uh, on a free uh, basis, and mm -hmm. she says, "I will interview all those writers for you." And and Start. Make. it would make such a interesting and like material she's a journalist yeah. so i'm i was thought of thinking lately i said oh well we got to, we should 
connect with the uh, local newspaper. It's uh, not uh, not very important, but listen, every time you have uh, interviewed one, we put it in the newspaper. Well, I think yeah, yeah, we can get like I think we have this in the author award. We can have the best three, the number th one, two, and three at the table uh, on the show. I think that would be a great idea, wouldn't it? Yeah. I will start writing myself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're, right, you're already on the show. You don't have to be in the show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, can we, we're running way too late. Um, what I can imagine, and what I always get when I when I when I talk to librarians is, because you mentioned already, like uh, we try to keep the hours that you spend in the shop yes. um, as as little as, as yes. possible. Yes. We have to. Yes. Yeah, we cannot afford to, to spend too many hours on that. But uh, on the whole thing, I think this whole setting up of this program uh, will have taken some time for yes. you. And I'm sure the librarians out there, how you managed to persuade your boss yes. to be able to do this. Uh, how did you do that? And how should they do it? If they well, so did, yeah. if you uh, can, I will, I can tell you everything, but it brings you so much. So it's, it's you should see, uh, you have to choose, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah? So you have to, uh, that's very hard for librarians, <laughs> hard for me. so you have to say, well, if you don't have time, you have to do something not, not. and yeah. instead you are doing this. But you can do a lot of things together with authors and like courses or uh, uh, reading uh, together or connecting them together. And that's not, it's, it doesn't cost anything. I'm trying to establish uh, uh, activities in the library who are free of uh, uh, risks mm -hmm. for the library. Yes. Because I know uh, we don't have that mon much money anymore to organize things. So I uh, say you can use the library and I'm there to support you and we, uh, we are uh, supporting you in the PR. Uh, mm -hmm. But that also works for the library of course. And uh, I don't pay them, no. but they can uh, uh, organize and they can get income some, sometimes from uh, activities, of course. And that's also uh, a nice uh, thing to say to your director, I think, yes. that you can organize things without uh, uh, financial risks. Only, uh, yeah, you have to... Uh, well, it yeah. really is, like we, we, we talk about this a lot, it is really is... You, you you provide that opportunity, you build that framework uh, in which the, the, the people can join in and, and be part of the library and help you. Yeah, and if, if, if it's not possible for you, you only you can only coordinate and uh, use some yeah. writers who probably will love to help you in the library with this um, new uh, collection. Well, we're going to follow you closely, Karen, uh, and uh, I'm sure uh, many people in the world will, will look at this and say, yes. wow, I want to do this myself. You should know style. your authors. Yeah, <laughs> know your authors. Yes. Uh, Karen, thank you so much for being on the show. It has been a pleasure. Welcome. And uh, you keep in touch. Yes. Episode 84 flew by. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you next week on This Week in Libraries.